everybody, this is Aaron from ASMR Destiny. Welcome once again to another relaxing video. For this one, it's going to be a little bit different from my normal videos. I'm going to be doing a unboxing and product demonstration of this ultrasonic humidifier from Satu Brown. So let's get started. So first thing that I noticed about this humidifier is that it is larger than what it looks like in the photos. It's definitely, I thought it was more of a smaller um, humidifier, but nonetheless, um, yeah, this is actually bigger than I thought, which is not really a problem. But if you're looking for a small one, this is definitely not one of those smaller ones. This is uh, a hefty humidifier. So um, not much about the box itself, just product photos, and very um, just a few points of interest on the side here. But let's go ahead and do the unboxing. All right, so first off, we have the humidifier here, and then we have the user manual. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and take a peek at the manual and see what it says. So it has a product overview. Uh, overview. The overview demonstrates the key components of the humidifier, starting from the top, we have the double outlet cover, and then we have a handle here as well. This part here is the water tank. There is the water gauge on this side. We have the base of the unit, which is on the bottom. Uh, the power cord. Which you can see obviously on the back. Back to the front, we have the knob, which is an LED knob indicator, and the rotating power switch. Uh, if you take out the top portion, if you actually turn it upside down, you would see that there is a place for the water to uh, pour into and there's an outlet pipe. There's also a cover for that as well. The base part has a filter cover and a carbon filter, and then the aromatherapy cotton, um, which additionally, I have these six very smelly in a good way. Um, aromatherapy oils, which I will try with this device. So you would put the oils onto the, uh, the aromatherapy cotton, and then it has the air intake on the bottom. So number two are the instructions. The, it has some precautions. So before using the product for the first time, it should be left in an environment at room temperature for 30 minutes. If the humidifier hasn't been used for some time, the tank should be cleaned thoroughly before using it again. If you haven't used the device for a long time, you should add a new aromatherapy cotton with some fresh fragrance. Keep the device clean and to avoid the growth of bacteria, replace the water every day. 
and then some additional precautions. Keep the humidifier away from furniture, electrical appliances, fireplaces, and other potentially dangerous areas. Avoid leaving the device in direct sunlight. The humidifier should be placed on a solid, level surface. This will ensure a smooth operation as unseen surfaces could cause the device to leak. And you don't want it to leak for sure. And then now some quick and easy instructions on how to use the humidifier. Remove the water tank and fill it with clean water. How about I do that? So I'm going to go fill this with water, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and I filled the tank with water. Now it says place the water tank back onto the base. I'm not going to do that yet because I want to put the aromatherapy oil into the base first. So I have to... You can see the intake. I have to remove this grid, the intake grid. That's the filter cover. Add some drops of essential oil to the cotton and then snap the filter cover back. So pretty much you're just using some oils some drops of oils and you're just dropping it whoa too much. <clears throat> okay. That back into the base. Now I'm going to plug this in. Place the water tank back onto the base. Let's see which way we're doing this. Okay. Okay, now you can hear the water going down into the base. Plug in the power is next which I did that. Rotate the knob clockwise, a blue light will display. If a red light displays, it means that there is insufficient water in the tank. Okay, so I just turned it on. This is on low and quite immediately, there is a really good really good amount of mist going right now. You probably can't see it on the on the video. And definitely I can smell the aromatherapy for sure. Okay. So there you go. Wow, look at that. That is a ton. You should be able to see this on the video. Ton of mess now. This is on high. Wow.
that's awesome. Really huge amount of mist. This is really great. Yeah. Really impressive considering if I put it on low, it's very quiet. And then even on high, it's still extremely quiet on high, but it puts out just a ton of mist. All right. Let's see, there's a lot of maintenance instructions on here. Probably don't really need to get into that. And then troubleshooting. And more safety precautions. And then general precautions. So, and then lastly, the specifications. And it uh, looks like this one was made in on the 2nd of September. So, and that's it. So, at least off the bat, um, very impressive in the uh, not only the mist output, but also the um, the quietness of the device. Um, yeah, very impressive. And um, you know, I've had a few other humidifiers in the past, and um, the one there's another one that is made by a very well known American company. And that one is quite loud. Um, but this one here pretty much puts out just as much mist as that one, and it's super quiet. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Satu Brown ultrasonic humidifier. And as always, have a good night, sleep well, and sweet dreams.